everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play More Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Sorry. So in the last part, we got to the Twilight version of Farron Woods. And honestly, I do not know how this recording session is going to be like, because we actually have someone coming over to fix the internet connection. But, uh, we'll worry about that later. Now let's just go over here and check this. Please, be careful. These woods have changed. The dark clouds of dusk cover this land. This drape of shadows is called Twilight. Oh, you mean like a book series, or...? Yeah. In this twilight, those who live in the light become as more mere spirits. It is a place where the dark ones and evil creatures dwell. I am a spirit of light. Blue-eyed beast. For my light, retrieve the light, stolen by the dark beasts, and keep it in this vessel. Alright, cool, so we got the Vessel of Light, it's crucial to collect your Tears of Light. Fill it with Tears of Light, you'll be able to cut through the twilight and return normal light to this place. To see these evils that hold the Tears of Light, use your x -sense. Kinda looks like a grapevine if you look at it. In the shadows of twilight, the dark insects are as invisible as normal beings are here. Let me use this last of my power to reveal the location of the dark insects that consume the light. Yeah, so, um, they're actually pretty close together. There's also, I think, two up here, I don't know. But they're spread out mostly around this area, so we're gonna be looking there. Find the insects of darkness. Dark insects, they are form taken by evil. Once it is latched onto our scattered light. Alright, very nice. So I think, um, as you can see, I'm digging here. If you dig in a certain spot, like, I'm gonna find it. It's not shown on your senses. But if you dig in, like, a certain spot, you can, uh... Oh, well, maybe it's up later. But these are the insects of light. Oh, wow. Okay. If you try to just attack them with your normal attacks, they'll mostly just run away. That's why I like using the energy field. But sometimes they be jerks about it and do that. You can even see them. There we go. Let's take this thing out, too. Yeah, so if you... If you, like, dig in a certain spot, you can, like, pass through this cave, or maybe it's the next cave coming up. Oh, of course, they go over there. Nice. So we have to dig through here. Go. I think there's one more. Is there another one? No, I don't think there is, but okay, yeah. All right, so that's all the bugs for here. There's actually more over there. My eyes just. Dinging like crazy right now. Alright. Oh, well, look at that. The, uh, the, uh, lantern guy isn't there, so we have to find another way in. Which is pretty easy. Just go up over here and mid jump yourself to that window. Hmm, looks like we can get in there. Yep. Oh, hey, what's up? Well, what's with these bugs? Those things aren't normal. They're so big, so weird, so creepy. Come on, get away. Bugs, shoot, get out of here. Alright, so we got two of them here. And there we go. W what? They just died? Oh boy, I have no idea what's going on here. Yeah, so he can't see us, so, you know, I guess it'd just be a little weird if the bug was just crawling around. Oh, they're dead. 
Are there more of these bugs outside? Oh, maybe I should just lay low for a while. Yeah, that'd be a good idea, but... You know, I think I pretty much got it covered. And there we go. Yeah, and sometimes the minna jump doesn't work. Like, see, we're on this, like, little hill here. You gotta be at the right elevation to hit him. It's kind of weird. And you just slowly wait for the chair to come down. Alright. Alright. So go through here one more time and proceed onward. So, uh, this is where, I think, right here, yeah, right there, you could skip this whole cave, and you basically don't have to do any of it. There's no bugs in there, and there's no items in there, but if you really want to go get them, which I do not want to do, be my guest. Go ahead. Oh, and it seems that this area is covered in a very dense purple fog. You don't want to go in there, obviously. There's two up there. There we go. Just get them off the wall there. Then they'll start flying around like this. Just kill them quickly. There we go. There's one, and there's one. We can go over here. Hey, think we can get across over there? Yeah, and somehow Link just like manages to stay on this one branch, but if you stay on it too long, this happens. Screen fades to like peach, I guess. So that's what happens. You want to be a bit fast when you execute these. Uh, all right, there go the Proceed onward. Three here. There we go. One, two, three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright. This is kind of cool is that every time you do a mini jump, it kind of like a. It's a higher in, like, on the metronome. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Like this. Hmm. So as you can see, there are bugs in the ground. I was actually really lucky. Sometimes you don't get two like that. But they just happen to be in the same place. So, oh, come on, right there. There we go. You gotta be kind of a distance away to hit them. Okay, over there. Thankfully, this gate's still open. Ah, oh, and we're penned in again with these shadow beings. Now here's what's cool about this, you may not have noticed, but um, you can kill one of these as long as you leave the two, like, how should I explain this? There are three over there, and as you notice that, well no, there are two over there, and as you notice that one sort of like popped up from the left, if you kill that one, and then just leave those two and then kill them afterwards, then uh, you'll still win the fight. There was a bird. The bird's not there. Oh, that's kind of sad. Alright. 
We got another spirit there. And only two more tiers of light that we need to collect. Uh, that one. Awesome. Oh, hey, it's a little monkey. What's up? Someone, someone helped me? Boy, look for me. Ever since the boss went funny in the head, there have been scary monsters everywhere. Those village kids got led through the woods for some reason. The whole forest is so weird now. What's happened? Oh, I really don't know. Awesome. So we get this cool shade of turquoise that's somehow messing up my camera screen. And the vessel of light is full of tears and light of return to the area. got those black squares coming up from the ground. Aw, but it was so nice here in the twilight. What's so great about a world of light anyway? <laughs> See you later. So we got another fairy spring here. My name is Farron. Oh, well, alright, that's easy. I am one of the spirits of light who dwell in Hyrule, but by the order of the gods, I protect this forest. Oh, brave youth. In the land covered in twilight, where people roam as spirits, you were transformed into a blue-eyed beast. That was a sign. It was a sign that the powers of the Chosen One rest within you, and that they are awakening. Look at your awakened form. Ah, traditional green tunic link. The green tunic that is your garb once belonged to the ancient hero chosen by the gods. His power is yours. His, his is the true power that slept within you. Your name is Link. The hero chosen by the gods. Brave Link. A dark power rests in the temple deep within these woods. It is a forbidden power long, long ago. I and the other spirits of light locked it away. Because of its nature, it is a power that should never be touched by anyone who dwell in the light. But this world weeps beneath the mantle of shadows, and so there is no choice. You must, ma you must match the power of the King of Shadows. If you would seek this forbidden power, then proceed to the temple in the forest depths. Cool, so we finally got our tunic and everything else. Whoa, whoa, you're the chosen hero and all that? Huh? So that's why you turned into that beast. What a shame. I mean, maybe you'd rather just wander as a spirit like the rest of them, totally unaware of what was happening for all eternity, right? Uh, yeah, maybe. Hehehe, <laughs> so what do you want to do? You want to head to that temple? Wasn't that convenient? I was about to head there myself. Hey, look, you want to help your friends, right? The way I see it, maybe they're in that temple, waiting for you to rescue them. Well, good luck, Mr. Important Hero. <laughs> See you later. Alright, finally, human form. Finally, actually, finally have an actual sword here. So that big stick of wood, that didn't even help. Uh, being that we have a new sword, it's also... What? Now, it's finally time for that weapon I worked so hard to get. You probably already know this, but swing your sword, yeah, I already know. 
In fact, Tao did a better job explaining it to you. Explain it to me. So, uh, like I was saying, now that we have a new sword, um, we can now do, like, less hits, I guess. Because, as you know, when we were defeating people, it took four hits to kill them. Well, now it's only going to take two. Alright, so we can lawnmower and so sow grass here. There we go. What's up? Huh? So, Theodorian. You seem familiar, but then your clothes seem kind of different, so I got thrown off for a sec. Listen, things have been a little bit rough around here lately, so you should watch your step, okay, guy? So many monsters now, I got kind of scared and closed the pa path out to the temple. But, you guy, you want to get back in there, huh? Sure do. Look, geared up for it, so here you go. You got a small key. This key opens a gate to the Fern Woods. Oh, yeah, the woods on the other side of this cave are covered in a really thick fog, so make sure your lantern is full. Definitely gonna need to use your lantern a lot in there, so bring all the oil you can. Check this out. I have a special one time offer a bottle full of lantern oil for only 100 rupees. How about it, guy? Well, no, I don't have 100 rupees. What? That's not right, guy. But I gave you that lantern for free, man. Let's sell oil on its own, so come back when you run out, guy. Oh, well, sorry about that, buddy. It's just that funds are a little low here. Oh, we got a rock. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll... Maybe we'll get that order sometime soon. Come on, I want some rupees. Alright. Well, I guess we should be able to head to the temple now. Hopefully all the torches are still lit, so just proceed on through here, I guess. And if you have trouble, which you probably will see on the screen, is that you could just look at the map. It's no problem. Oh. And you'll eventually see the entrance. Or exit. still has that purple fog to bring out our lantern. Whoa! Hey, stole my lantern. Hmm. Says he, she's beckoning us. Hey, what's this monkey's problem? You idiot, while you're staring off into dreamland, your lantern got stolen. Uh, yeah. So, can I have that back? Uh, please? Uh, well, if you may have guessed, this is the only way we can get to the Forest Temple. Because we're going to be sitting here most of the time, and she's going to be doing this most of the time. But... I guess I could speed it up or whatever, but, you know, it's not really that long. <sighs> so, just wait. Get some more rupees out here. Oh yeah, if there are any enemies, like, on the way, when she's... Oh, finally. Yeah, that helps. Uh... If there are any enemies while she's doing this, then she'll pretty much just get scared. So what you want to do is take them out pretty quickly. Because you do not want to be standing out here for too long, because, of course, you'll get bored like I am. <laughs> that was kind of cute. And we're almost there, thankfully. Alright, got another Deku bottle right there. Not oh, three rupees, nice. Uh, 
Alright. Done. Awesome, you're done. Oh, alright, so I guess we have to go back and then go forward. I don't know why you're swinging at me, there's nothing here. Uh, rupee. And awesome, you made me run out of ladder. Yeah, that's pretty much what that guy was, uh, selling the oil for, like, at the store. Got your lantern back, ran out of oil, we were following that monkey around. But, apparently, I don't have that, uh, I don't have the funds for it right now, so, it's pretty much gonna be another time. Alright, finally some real enemies. So as you can see, it only takes two hits to kill them. Very nice. Nope, come on. That would be. Just a heart. Alright. Oh yeah, we have a... We could refill it here. Welcome, hey, buy something, anything. I will, but let me... There we go. We got oil on our lantern. With this filled, you'll be safe at night. Stop. Thief! Yeah, so... That's what I was talking about, uh, I think, part two. So that we can pretty much get a free refill, whatever we need. Alright. Alright, so we can pretty much attack this guy and fail. <laughs> Sword wields no strength unless the hand holds has courage. You may be destined to become the hero of legend, but your current power would disgra disgrace the proud green of tu hero's tunic you wear. Hmm. You must use your courage to seek power and find it you must. Only then you will become the hero of whom this world despairs. If you do find true courage and you wish to save Hyrule from the horrors it now faces, and you will be worthy to receive the secrets I hold. Alright, so this is a hidden skill, an ending blow. Enemies that are filled with energy will quickly recover and stun again, when even st and attack again even when stunned by a powerful strike. The ending blow is a secret technique you can use on stunned enemies to end their breath before they spring back into action. When an enemy lies collapsed on the ground and stunned, L target and press A to leap high into the air and deli deliver a final strike. When the opportunity to end their breath is before you, you will see finish A before vividly appearing on the screen. Now, try it on me. Alright, very nice. So, basically what we have to do is knock him down, knock him down, knock him down, and then finish will appear on the screen. Like that. Awesome. It's weird that he doesn't die, but, you know, I guess he's a skeleton or something. Hmm, that was a pinpoint strike. Never overlook your opportunity to finish with A. First hidden skill, the ending blow as it passed on. Uh, the ending blow, I gotta admit, I really don't use a lot, but it is gonna come in handy later. There are still six hidden skills for you to learn. Those are only for one who carries the blood of the hero. The one whose spirit is that of the sublime beast. Grow powerful, test your courage, and when you find that you need another skill to overcome the threats that face you, search for the statues that held with the sound of the wind. Seek the sound that calls for the spirit of the beast to awaken me again. Sword wheels no strength. Yeah, I know. Remember those words. Farewell. And you know what? I think I'm going to end it off here. Alright. You know, we did a lot in this episode. So, next time on Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, we're going to be proceeding on to the Forest Temple. See you guys later.